Rocks, the candy that erupted in your mouth, exploded in popularity during the 70s, and at one point, sold 500 million packages in just 18 months. That's a big number, Professor. Yes, it is. But this candy has a history riddled with rumors. People thought eating Pop Rocks was extremely dangerous. What made them think this? Could it be because of the crazy manufacturing process? Or its accidental creation? Maybe because they were sold on a sugary version of a black market? What about the supposed death of little Mikey? Keep watching to see all your answers and more pop on the screen. This is the rock having pop rocks. Okay. These yummy small bits of gasified sugar explode when coming in contact with the warm moisture in your mouth and make a popping sound. That's where these rocks get their name, in case you didn't catch that. There's some science involved in making Pop Rocks, which originally came in cherry, grape, and orange flavors. The initial mixture needs to be heated to 138 degrees Celsius. Then, carbon dioxide is added under the pressure of 600 pounds per square inch. That's nearly 40 times the Earth's atmospheric air pressure. This concoction is cooled until it solidifies, releasing the pressure in the process. Then comes the smashing into tiny gasified chunks part. Being involved in the manufacturing of Pop Rocks wasn't easy in the early days. Workers relied on protective suits to avoid being burned during the cooking stage, and one even lost a finger in the name of candy crushing. But how was Pop Rocks invented in the first place? We have to go all the way back to 1956. A food scientist named William Mitchell was trying to come up with an instant self-carbonating powdered soda. Because why not? He failed at his soda goal, but instead he accidentally created Pop Rocks. Nothing but happy accidents here. Mitchell patented his idea in 1961. It took more than a decade, but General Foods finally agreed to mass produce it. By 1976, Pop Rocks were being distributed all over the U.S. General Foods quickly realized that they couldn't ship this explosive sweet to warmer areas. They stopped selling anywhere temperatures were over 19 degrees Celsius. The problem? Florida never got their Pop Rocks. Do you know what these are now? No. The hot temperatures melted the rocks before people had the chance to detonate them in their mouths. And as you know, this candy is nothing without the pop. Oh, so poppy! Sure, production had its risks, but one unfortunate driver had the doors of his truck blown off after his cargo of Pop Rocks overheated and exploded. What a bummer! Consumers responded to the regional exclusivity with a sort of Pop Rocks black market. People would stock up where it was available and unload it for up to four times what they paid for it. This confectionery scalping ring was not just the doing of adults. Kids would also sell it to their buddies at school, pocketing a tidy profit. And as the popularity of Pop Rocks continued to surge, so did some urban legends. This is where you find your answer to ingesting Pop Rocks being a life and death situation. People believe that Pop Rocks were especially dangerous when combined with soda. It was rumored that your stomach would explode and you die. The myth is that adorable little Mikey, a fictional character that appeared in Life brand cereal commercials in the 70s, passed away from that presumed deadly mixture. Of course, little Mikey didn't die. He's still very much alive and with his innards intact, I'm happy to inform. Even though the Food and Drug Administration cleared Pop Rocks of any stomach-exploding wrongdoing, parents were still not convinced sales began to dwindle. Currently, you can find this mysterious candy at the store and enjoy all kinds of weird flavors, from blue raz to pumpkin patch orange, and even a sugar-free option. If you dare, you can mix them with soda and see how it goes. Oh, gosh. Speaking of food mysteries, we have another one for you. Do you know what the most expensive ingredient ever is? Legend has it 
that it cures the bubonic plague for $16 a gram. But that's a topic for another episode of Origins of Food.